Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a Big Mac pizza. So I grew up eating Big Macs. I love them, I'm obsessed with them. I have other recipes here on the channel around Big Mac sauce. You guys are gonna be blown away by this. So this is, of course, a one-of-a-kind pizza. We are about to make our crust. So our crust is gonna be made of ground beef. And I love that because I feel like it's a lot lighter. It's not gonna give you that food coma, even though um, like the Fathead Dough Pizza doesn't really give you a food coma because obviously it doesn't have a lot of carbs. So we have our two pounds. Now, if you want a small piece, it's just you, then you could half this, half the recipe and just make a, you know, just use one pound. But this is, you know, this is true. Now we're just gonna add in all of our seasonings and then we're gonna mix it together. So we have our salt season your carnita. So we have our onion powder. Now we have our garlic powder. Okay, we're gonna give it flavor. Guys, this is gonna have so much flavor, you are gonna be blown away. Here we have our paprika. This is gonna add a little spice color and just what you need, paprika. Pepper. Okay, so we have our ground pepper. Parm, so Parmesan, I like to use Parm in, um, in my recipes uh, because I have to be sticking to lactose-free cheeses. So we have our Parm, okay, and then we have our Worcestershire sauce. Boom. Last but not least, huevitos, okay. You can do this on a separate bowl. I'm an egg cracking pro, so I can do it with one hand. Watch the seeds go in there, or the, the shell, no shell, okay. So you can use a little spatula just to kind of ease your way in or just go in with your hands. So this here is going to form, we're just gonna go in. It's going to form our crust, okay? So it is a ground beef crust and we're just gonna mix all the ingredients in and we're gonna put it right onto our parchment. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, if you have a fam, if you have you know your kiddos, um, and you want to make individual size pizzas, then you would just make a big batch like this. And then instead of cooking one big one, like you're gonna see me do it right now, you would just make them into individual um, size. So this is the one that we're using for our monster pizza because we want one big pie. So these are small. I got these from, I think Marshall's or something. And how cute is this? You just make like your little individual size pizza. Everyone has their like kind of portion and you can add what you, you know, all the toppings. It, they come in, I think it comes like in a set of four. So they have the little holes, so it's nice and crispy. I think that's cute. Um, but you know, today we're making one big pie. I just wanted to show you that you have options. So let's go ahead and move on to our next step. We have our pizza pan, parchment. What we're gonna do is just put it onto our parchment here and we're gonna shape it we're gonna shape it into our crust. You're just gonna do it with your hand. And if you don't have gloves, just wash your hands after, you know, because you don't want ground beef hands. Okay, so I ended up adding another piece of parchment just so that I was able to spread the meat all the way to the end. So now we're gonna go ahead and bake it. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 450 degrees and you want your heat that high because we are cooking meat and um, that's the way it's gonna cook. And we're gonna bake for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna show you what our crust is gonna look like once it's done. Okay, so our crust is baking. We're, that's gonna be in there for about 10 minutes. Now we are gonna make our Big Mac sauce. So we're gonna start off with some tomato sauce. We're just gonna pour it right in. Okay, so it's going into a saucepan. Okay, then we have a little ketchup. ketchup. Okay. We have sweetna, so this is just some sweetener. And we're adding some pickles. Now, I'm super excited about this recipe because have you ever heard of a Big Mac pizza? Of course not, because we're making it here for the first time. <laughs> so you're gonna add in your pickles, a little mustard. Okay, then we have our garlic powder. Okay, and now we have parsley. Pickle juice, I know, sounds weird, but trust me pickle juice and then we have salt and last but not least we have mayo mayonesa okay it's gonna be your recipe 
So I just gave it a really rough mix. Let's go to the stove, heat this up, let all the flavors marry, and then we're gonna give it a taste test. So we just got our crust out and I wanna show you, obviously it doesn't look pretty. It's ground beef, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. If you were cooking a burger, it would look the same. So what we're gonna do is just clean it up. We're gonna transfer it over to um, a clean parchment. This is just because of photos. You could totally make your entire pizza on one dish and it's gonna be just fine. Um, but again, we wanna take some photos and um, we're just going to transfer it over to our smaller one. Now we've transferred it over and it's just like when you're making burgers, you know how it starts off as like a big patty and then you end up with a small patty. It's the same scenario here. We filled up the entire pizza pan and then we were obviously able to transfer it onto a smaller piece. But take a look at this. I feel like it's a great size. Remember, because it is a meat um, crust, it's gonna be nice and filling and it's going to be perfect. So we still have more um, left over if we wanna make our individual size or you can even make two. So it's completely up to you. We're just rolling with one right now so that we can kind of move through the process and you're gonna be able to see everything right here on real time. You don't have to because it's obviously a flavor, but our sauce is very flavorful. So I'm just going to just kind of pat it down a little. And this one here is my Big Mac marinara sauce. Take a look at this. Wow. Can you see? This is amazing. It tastes so good. Even alone, you can totally pour this over zoodles, pasta. I mean, it's delicious. But of course, we are going to use this as our sauce. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I seriously cannot believe how delicious this smells. We're going to sprinkle some cheese. Um, now, I know the Big Mac doesn't have melted cheese, but but this is pizza. It's pizza. So that's what I'm thinking, you know? That's, that's my, that is my reasoning here. But we're not gonna put too much. It's just sprinkle, sprinkle, okay? Now, um, so this is kind of what I'm gonna roll with. I'm thinking it's just like a light coat and we will top it with a little more. So broiler, I'm gonna show you how it looks and then we're gonna top it and ah, I'm so excited for this. We're gonna get started with our toppings. Remember, this is still, it is a pizza, but we are rolling with the Big Mac topping. So we have our lettuce, our pickles, our onion, and of course, more cheese. So now we're going in with our lettuce. Okay, this is gonna look like a big burger. Now we go in with some onion, a little cheese. This is cheddar, our pickles. And this is your, this is your pizza. So you can add tomato, you can add whatever you want, but this, these are the Big Mac toppings. So that's why we're, we're just sticking to this. And now for my favorite part of this entire video, we're going to do, okay, so I'm gonna to try to eat it like a regular piece of pizza, but you could of course use your uh, a fork and knife, but let's go right in, hold on, I want a pickle. I love pickles. I would add like even more pickles, but all right, let's go. Mm. <gasps> 10 out of 10. 100% fire. Oh my God. You guys have to try this. I probably have Big Mac sauce all over. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I don't even, I'm like, I'm still trying to get it together right now. This is delicious. You guys are gonna love this. It's like you're having pizza with all the flavors of a Big Mac. I don't even know how to explain it but clearly a ground beef crust is amazing. It's like a big burger. It's almost like a huge burger, if that makes sense. 
I, I don't know. I'm like, uh -huh. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. It's gonna it's gonna be a link that's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're actually gonna be able to print this recipe out along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else on the internet. So make sure you check that out. And I wanna thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. That's one way that you show me love in return. So thank you for that. And if you still wanna see a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok where I just share more recipe ideas and a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah. Now we're about to go have some lunch because this is phenomenal.